I'm super excited about this video. I did not expect to be making this video right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kelsey Pinzo. I am a junior at Salisbury University. That is where I am right now. We are in my dorm room. And I do beauty related videos, sometimes throw on some college related videos up in here. And I'm extremely excited about today's video. Today's video is going to be a BoxyCharm unboxing. Literally covers the logo with my hand out of excitement. I have a boxy charm in front of me, so it is still August, it is August 30th. Um, I mentioned in my yoga club and Ipsy unboxing that I would be getting boxy charms soon, um, and between the big payment that I got from Teching for Marching Band and my school refund that I got from loans, I had some extra money and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cancel Ipsy now and so that I can get a boxy charm for September. But I did it early enough in the month that they were actually able to send me something for August. And that was super, super awesome. So I do have a BoxyCharm unboxing for August. Get excited. I know I am. Yeah, I just want to rip this thing open. So <laughs> I have seen a few BoxyCharm videos. So I know what was in, like, the full box. But of course, with it being the end of the month, this might not be the same products that were in there. And I have no idea, like which version this is because BoxyCharm I think has like three different versions of all of their boxes so I did not sign up for BoxyLux just putting that out there um BoxyLux is one of those I think it's like $99 every three months for it's like it's either five like crazy expensive products or I think it's like I don't know maybe like 12 or 9 or something products so I did not sign up for that. I figured I would start with this for now and then work my way upwards. Uh, and supposedly I'm getting gifts in this one. I don't know. Like maybe like gifts for signing up. I'm not sure. <laughs> so let's just go ahead, show you guys first. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, I sort of kind of saw what was in there a minute ago, but not completely. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm really excited, guys. So. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's, there are seven things in here. There's seven things in here. Oh my gosh. So this is the totally boxy charm box. Um, this is seven heart. Right there, you can kind of see it down at the bottom. So I guess that is the variation of the box that I have. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my first boxy charm, guys. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling things out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So the first thing is something that I've seen in all of the BoxyCharm videos that I've, that I've been seeing. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this. This has been something that, like, apparently a lot of people are kind of confused by it because it's like it's a powder, but it's like it's a moisturizing powder. I don't, I don't even know, but I love, love Becca. I love Becca's packaging. I love their highlighters. I don't own enough Becca, but I love it. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has a little bit of a lid right there and it says to keep me cool. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a cooling product. Oh. Oh my god. That is so weird. Hold up. <laughs> and it does have a little bit of like a net here for the powder. You can't see it. So you can kind of see the powder right there and then it has a net underneath it. Oh my god. It's like... Okay, so it is a translucent powder, first of all, but it's like, it's so cooling on the skin, and it just like, it disappears. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to play around with this. I'm gonna have to wear foundation sometime in the next day or two to be able to play around with this. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Uh, so the next thing I'm pulling out is this Ace Beauty Glimmer Eyeshadow. Oh, and the Becca Ref uh, Mist and Refresh Powder was a $39 retail value. So yeah, this is the Ace Beauté Glimmer Shadow in French Vanilla. So it's like a silvery, shimmery powder. This looks kind of like a ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow, and that's what it reminds me of a little bit. Ooh, super pretty. Talk about a night out shadow. Oh my gosh. The texture feels really nice. There's big chunks of glitter in there. This would be perfect for a night out. This is like a New Year's Eve color to me. That's super pretty. I'm going to have to play around with that. Maybe do like a shimmery smoky eye or something. 
that's really pretty. I'm kind of like entranced by that right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, so this is, the next product is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Um, I only, as you guys know, I kind of just discovered um, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I think this is the new mascara that Tarte came out with. This is like their, whoa, that is bright as heck. Yeah, it's their it's their newest mascara. That is what the befores and afters look like. Oh my gosh. Twisted double fiber bristles for max pigment load. Lash eleven ingredients. Cruelty free and vegan always a plus. It doesn't look like it's gonna be waterproof, um, but it is in black. I want to go ahead to like organize my trash over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. That looks really nice. It looks a lot, ooh, it's shaped really nicely. It's kind of cool. Um, it does look a lot like the Lights Camera Lashes brush. I'm really excited to try this out. I've been super impressed with the Lights Camera Lashes mascara, so I have high hopes for this thing. I haven't seen any reviews on it yet, so I'm, I'm going in, going in empty here. <laughs> Okay, so next is, oh, 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 so there's two shadows in here from Ace Beauty. Uh, so this one is in the shade Huckleberry, and it looks like this. It's a duo, and the duo retails for $25, and the Big Ego Mascara retails for $23. That's still really, really pretty. I am more excited about the silver one personally, but that is still really, really pretty. It doesn't swatch as nicely, but it does look like it blends out really nicely, which is always good. Yeah, so the duo retails for $25. Awesome. And now, okay, I guess we're going with this first. So next they sent me a Butter London Natural Goddess eyeshadow palette. So it looks like this. That's really pretty. Very like earthy tones. Nice mirror at the top. It's a little bit heavy. Not gonna lie, actually. That that blue color at the end. Like holy heck. Let's see. Let's swatch one of these. I want to swatch the blue. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay. All right. I see you. That's what it looks like on my hand. And then let's go ahead and with star. I want to see that one too. Ooh, star is really pretty. It's like an olivey forest green. I'm curious about this. I've never tried any makeup from Butter London. I don't think I've tried anything from Butter London, actually. I might have used a nail polish, but I've never tried any makeup from Butter London. I think this was in a box like last month or the month before, um, but they sent it to me, I guess, because I'm a new member. So <laughs> that's really exciting. I love receiving eyeshadows. You guys know this. Okay, so I think we have two more things. Three more things. I lied. <laughs> Next we have the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I've heard so many things about Wander Beauty lately. Holy heck. Oh, the eyeshadow palette retails for $32, and this guy retails for $42. That's crazy. The value that I'm getting in this box right now is ridiculous. I've also never used a face oil before. That applicator, what the heck? I'm just gonna like put it on my hand. This is like one of those ones that you can like drip on your face. Someday. It's so satisfying. I love watching videos like that. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, that smells really good. It's got a little bit of like a shimmer to it almost. Nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use it for one drop at a time. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm going to definitely try that out tomorrow as well. Okay, now we have two products left. I'm positive of it. So next we have the Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. I'm always down for a good eyeliner. Gonna go ahead and swatch this. We're gonna swatch it just like on my wrist. Ooh, that is very black. Oh my gosh. 
And it's very precise too, which is awesome. I'm gonna draw a star, see how precise I can get it. There we go, so that's what my little star looks like. So it looks like you can definitely get really precise with this, and I like how long it is. It's a lot of product that I can use. And then last but not least, we have this Luxie Gaia um, set of three brushes. We have a Luxie 250 large eye blending brush, we have a Luxie 246 precision crease, and a Luxie 510 foundation. Oh, okay. Well, one came out already. So this one, I guess, is the precision, the, okay, yeah, so this one is the precision crease brush, which looks more like an accent brush to me. I love the wooden handle. You guys know me. I love Luxie brushes. I love them a lot. Um, so I think these are super cute. And then we have the large fluffy blending brush, which is awesome. These brushes actually feel pretty dense, which is fun. And then we have the... Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so then we have the Luxie foundation brush, which... I don't typically use a brush to apply my foundation because I don't wear foundation a lot, but I'm sure I can find use for this. So I'm very excited. So that is my BoxyCharm box, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, so I will go ahead and update this, the description box when I've tried out some of these, and I will put my thoughts and opinions in the description box down below. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed and are excited to see me do some BoxyCharm unboxings in the future. So yeah, I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!